Hi friends, it's Miss Suzanne. How are you? I hope you're all doing well and I hope you know that we miss you so much. And I thought that I would read a story to you and Mr. Bill is videotaping it for me because I'm reading a story to our new puppy. And our new puppy's name is Zoe and it's close to her bedtime. So I thought when I read her a story that I would read a story for you too. This is actually one of my favorite books. It's called Owl Moon by Jane Yolen. It was late one winter night, long past my bedtime, when Paul and I went owling. There was no wind. The trees stood still at giant statues. And the moon was so bright, the sky seemed to shine. Somewhere behind us, a train whistle blew, long and low, like a sad, sad song. I could hear it through my woolen cap. Paul had pulled it down over my ears. A farm dog answered the train, and then a second dog joined in. They sang out, trains and dogs, for a real long time. And when their voices faded away, it was as quiet as a dream. We walked on towards the woods, Pa and I. We reached the line of pine trees black and pointy against the sky, and Paul held up his hand. I stopped right where he was and waited. He looked up as if he were searching for the stars, as if reading a map up there. The moon made his face into a silver mask. Then he called, Who, who, who? The sound of a great owl. Zoe likes those sounds. Her ears perked up for that. Again, he called out, and then again. After each call, he was silent, and for a moment, we both listened. But there was no answer. Pa shrugged, and I shrugged. I was not disappointed. My brothers all said, sometimes there's an owl, and sometimes there isn't. We walked on. I could feel the cold as if someone's icy hand was palmed down on my back and my nose and the tip of my cheeks felt cold and hot at the same time but I never said a word. If you go owling, you have to be quiet and make your own heat. We went into the woods. The shadows were the blackest things I had ever seen. They stained the white snow. My mouth felt fury, furry, Sorry, my mouth felt furry from the scarf over it. I didn't ask what kind of things hid behind the trees in the middle of the night. When you go owling, you have to be brave. Then we came to a clearing in the dark woods. The moon was high above us. It seemed to fit exactly over the center of the clearing and the snow below it was whiter than the milk in a cereal bowl. I sighed and Pop held up his hand at the sound. I put my mittens over the scarf, over my mouth and listened hard. And then Pa called, who, who, who? Hoo, hoo, hoo. 
I listened and looked so hard, my ears hurt and my eyes got cloudy with the cold. Paul raised his face to call out again, but before he could open his mouth, an echo came th threading its way through the trees. Hoo, 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 hoo. Paul almost smiled. Then he called back, hoo, hoo, hoo. Just as if he and the owl were talking about supper or about the woods or the moon or the cold, I took my mitten off the scarf off my mouth and I almost smiled too. The owl's call came closer from high up in the trees on the edge of the meadow. Nothing in the meadow moved. All of a sudden, an owl shadow, part of the big tree shadow, lifted off and flew right over us. We watched silently with heat in our mouths, the heat of those words we had spoken. The shadow hooted again. Pa turned on his big flashlight and caught the owl just as it was landing on the branch. Look how big that owl is. It's a pretty big owl. For one minute, three minutes, maybe even a hundred minutes, we stared at each other. But those owl eyes, they're very, very big. Then the owl pumped its great wings and lifted off the branch like a shadow without sound. It flew back into the forest. Time to go home, Pa said to me. I knew then I could talk. I could even laugh out loud, but I was a shadow as we walked home. When you go owling, you don't need words or warm, or anything but hope. That's what Pa says. The kind of hope that flies on silent wings under a shining owl moon. And that is the story of Owl Moon. And I hope you enjoyed hearing that story. And I'm looking through all my books that I have here and I have a lot of other books that I'm going to be reading and I wanna share with you. And I just want you to know that we're all thinking of you and we miss you. And it is time for Zoe and me to go to bed, but she ran away. Good night.